first announced at Disney's D23 Expo in 2019, little to no information has been given to us about the series Moon Knight, outside of the fact that it's coming. Few years later, we now have a lot more information about the series as a whole, and today we're going to take a first look into things and tell you everything we know so far, and a little bonus on the title or character, and what this series will mean for the future of the MCU. Enjoy! Who is Moon Knight? Before we move on with our video, first let's talk about the title or character because we're more than certain that many of you don't even know him, or to be precise, what he is, and what are his motives behind what he is doing. Often compared to Batman because of the similarities between the two, thus don't be surprised if the series has a Batman-like tone. They both have alter egos, Mark Spector as Moon Knight and Bruce Wayne as Batman respectively. Mark is also a millionaire just like Bruce. They're both expert detectives, and just like Batman, Moon Knight also uses his wealth to his advantage in paying for the most impressive equipment he uses in fighting crime. Amongst these expensive gadgets of his, Moon Knight uses a boomerang-type weapon, called Moonrang, while Batman uses the Batarang, and when all things are considered, you now know why he's compared to Batman, right? First introduced to the world in 1975 by writer Doug Munch, and artist Don Perlin in the Werewolf by Night comic issue 32, most of his early stories were with other Marvel heavyweights in the likes of Hulk, Spider-Man and the Defenders, until him finally receiving solo billing and his own origin story. Mark Spector is a former CIA agent, a boxer, a mercenary who finds himself close to death's door when he's betrayed by his employer, Raoul Bushman. On one of their adventures, they stumble upon an archaeological dig that Bushman wants to plunder, and there, after a series of events, Mark lays dying, when he's visited by the Egyptian moon god Khonshu. He gives Spectre a second chance in life if he agrees to become his avatar on Earth, and as anyone could ever exist this, Mark accepts his chance at life, and returns to the United States with his new powers, which he uses together with his wealth to battle evil. On his endeavors, he employs multiple identities such as a cab driver Jake Lockley and millionaire Stephen Grant, both of which help him distance himself from the past. He has a long list of enemies that he has battled over the years of becoming an avatar of the Egyptian god, including Hobgoblin the Brothers, Grim Bullseye, one of Deadpool's most famous villains, Count Neferia, Mr. Hyde, Scarecrow, Nightmare, and last but not least, Deadpool himself, when both of them work as mercenaries in their lives. And with a lineup like this, the plethora of characters the writers of the series will definitely have a lot to play with, Mark Spector calls himself the Fist of Khonshu, and with Khonshu being the Egyptian god of the moon, who would think there would be a myriad of superpowers that come along with such a title, right? Well, things are a little hazy as to Moon Knight's powers, but knowing Marvel and how they operate, we're more than certain that the series will give the viewers the best understanding of his powers and what this hero can do. We know that he has a military training, which will help him in his battles. He also has a high tolerance of pain and multiple personalities, which more than occasionally can prove to be a big help to him. And last but not least, we should also tell you that his endurance, speed, reflexes and strength are all dependent on the phases of the moon at the given time of his adventure. So keep that in mind too. Moon Knight Release Date and Trailer as for the release date of the series, there are still a lot of details unknown and a lot more variables into play. And on top of that, a fair few series ahead of it this series in the production line, so according to some estimations, the date of the series' release would be sometime in 2022 as it stands right now. The series was originally intended to start filming in November 2020 in Atlanta, but the ongoing pandemic delayed the whole process just like with many Marvel projects in the last year or two and recent news showed that the filming is underway and that it started in April 2021. Kevin Feige was generous enough to say that the series will consist of six episodes, each clocking in between 40 to 50 minutes, a similar runtime just like the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series. Knowing that the series is still in production, there's no trailer just yet, and don't expect to see any footage of the series until 2022 as the show is coming close to the right now stated release date. The moon. Oscar Isaac Oscar Isaac has been cast as Moon Knight for quite a while now, and the announcement of him playing the role of the titled character of the series was met with great excitement from the fans. We can all agree that Isaac has a nice resume and has already been part of some major franchises so far. In addition to his appearance in 2021's Dune, he was the eponymous villain in X-Men Apocalypse, playing the big baddie in that movie. 
He was not shy of a quick cameo in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and was also part of the latest Star Wars trilogy as Poe Dameron before finally leading Marvel's Moon Knight series, sharing many videos as he trains for the part. Throughout his career, Isaac proved that he's able to portray a wide variety of different characters, from the folk singing lead of Inside Lewin Davis all the way to the brilliant scientist Nathan in Ex Machina. Thus, him being picked as the leading actor of the series will prove beneficial when he takes on the role of Mark Spector since he may have dissociative identity disorder, helping him assume other identities. Moon Knight Villain Not much is known about the cast of the series as of yet, however, we know who will portray the villain of the series, and that is a role given to Ethan Hawke. The series is wasting no time in garnering some series attention for the Marvel Cinematic Universe by revealing that Ethan will be portraying the villain in the series. However, it has not been revealed yet what villain he'll be portraying, but our guess is that he would be the character of Bushman, the mercenary who betrayed Spectre, the one who continues to pop up in the comics. The character of Bushman has had a number of interpretations over the years, and it will be an interesting thing to see as to what kind of spin Hawk will take for the character. Your end, sugary beast. <laughs> Moon Knight Plot at this point, not much is known what the Moon Knight series will be about. We all know Marvel and how they can be for these kinds of things. However, a backstory for the title or character will likely be included. Since Moon Knight is not really known like Spider-Man or Iron Man, and the series will also tell the story of the journey of Mark Spector and how he became a superhero in his own right. And if we're asked, it would be great to see Isaac now as part of the MCU to be paired with the likes of Tom Holland's Spider-Man and possibly with Samuel L. Jackson's Nick Fury. And if the series were to include Moon Knight's supernatural background, which features vampires and werewolves, we might possibly see him teaming up with the likes of Mahershala Ali's Blade in a major showdown. Now that we know that he'll also be joining the MCU sometime in the future. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what do you think about the character of the series and what would you like to see in the series itself and also don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.